the developers have heard our feedback and finally addressed the long-standing issues on Pearl's B-Site. No longer will pro players be rushing B-Site, spamming smokes for 30 minutes straight. This site was so broken, in fact, that a large portion of the time, pro teams would be able to plant spike without even seeing an enemy. In this video, we'll dive into the changes and explore their implications for gameplay, and at the end, address a current issue that might impact a large portion of the player base. Let's start by examining the changes to b ramp. Previously, attackers had the advantage of jiggle peeking the box with varying head levels, gaining valuable information while remaining relatively safe. However, things have changed. Now attackers are required to jump onto a tighter space, which introduces a brief moment of inaccuracy before shooting. This change not only limits their ability to reposition quickly, but also grants defenders more time to react. Attackers must now weigh the risk of exposing themselves while jumping onto the box. Additionally, the back wall has been moved, eliminating a crucial post-plant position. Previously, attackers could hide behind the wall, making it challenging for defenders to retake the site. With this change, defenders can now effectively clear B-Long and execute retakes. These changes encourage attackers to play closer on site during post-plant, since there are fewer positions on ramp. Moving on to B-Site itself, the sidewall has undergone significant improvements. It has been widened, lengthened, and equipped with steps that any agent can use to gain a vantage point. One major benefit for the defenders is that the area behind these steps is no longer wall bangable, making this position more viable for defenders. These changes open up numerous crossfire opportunities. Moreover, defenders might be able to utilize a single smoke to entirely cover the B main choke point, potentially disrupting the double controller meta on Pearl. However, we'll have to wait until the update to see if one smoke can cover this area. Another noteworthy change can be found in the back hall. An additional cubby has been added, making it much harder for attackers to secure kills by spraying through the back hall when it's smoked. Defenders now have two positions to take cover and jiggle peek from, forcing attackers to approach with caution and discouraging mindless spraying. Lastly, let's discuss the modifications made to B Tower. The balcony and pillar have been widened, reducing the amount of wallbang damage that players positioned behind the pillar can receive. This change adds one more viable defensive option for defenders to utilize, allowing them to hold their ground more effectively and pose a greater challenge to the attacking team. These changes to Pearl's B site are a significant step in the right direction, especially in reducing the attacker's advantage and the prevalence of smoke spraying strategies in professional play. While these adjustments are well received in professional play and higher ranks, they might have different implications for the broader player base in lower ranks, where utility usage and coordination can vary significantly. When I mentioned these changes to my brother, who's currently gold, he actually thought they'd make attacking B site on Pearl easier, claiming that it was extremely hard to get sight when the enemy team had an operator. This is mostly due to the lack of utility usage from his team. Considering that over 57% of the player base is gold or lower, this could have a significant impact on the sight win rates for Pearl. It raises an important question on whether developers should prioritize the competitive scene or cater to the needs and experiences of the majority of the player base. I'm curious to hear your thoughts and experience at your rank regarding B-Site. Let me know in the comment section down below. 